Hey YouTube, so we went to uh, Roush Creek with Offroad Consulting, and uh, this is the Tip Top video. Tip Top is one of the blue trails uh, that actually has a name on the northeast side of uh, Roush Creek. Tip Top is basically a small uh, stair climb, and uh, basically uh, what that means is uh, there's like a series of like ledges that look um, kind of like a staircase that we're going to go up. Um, they're larger than a staircase, but they're kind of um, similar to uh, a staircase. So at the bottom of Tip Top, there are two routes to get up to the, um, the, the main obstacle. There's a left side and the right side. When I was looking at it, I kind of thought the right side was a little more aggressive than the left side, uh, but neither one of them um, did, I, did I feel was like, you know, ridiculously aggressive. Um, this is kind of similar to like Renee's Hill at uh, AOAA, except the obstacles are about half as big and it's maybe a quarter of the length of Renee's Hill. Um, and Renee's Hill is a blue at Roush um, or at AOAA that is um, kind of similar to that section of tip top. Okay, I know where we're at. This is a little stair climb that we're going to do. That's kind of cool. So this is uh, basically um, up there you can see where uh, Keith is standing um, and we're the third jeep in the line where the main obstacle is, where these steps are. So Kimberly's going to drive um, on this one. Pretty awesome. And I'm going to get out and we are going to get a lot of footage of um, Jeeps trying to go over the steps um, over Tip Top. So the red Jeep that's with us is the smallest Jeep of the, um, the group. And so uh, typically um, when you go out on these trails and stuff, you typically try to identify, um, you know, who, who might potentially have the most amount of problems, and then you usually move them to the front of the line, so they're right behind the, the leader, because that way if they need a lot of um, assistance, you don't have to um, stop the group repeatedly very long um, to just pop out and, you know, give them a little bit of guidance. So this is the main obstacle tip top. You can see that um, it is these um, tall steps, and uh, you can see that uh, it's a stock tire there. Um, or maybe it's larger than a stop, maybe that's a 33. But you can see that the steps are actually um, at least the size of the tires, not not taller than the tires. If you just um, compare the, you know, you know where uh, Keith is standing versus uh, the Jeep itself, he's standing, you know, and even I'm standing um, at the level of maybe the hood of the Jeep. So I think he's going to switch from the left-hand side to the right-hand side. Because there was, like I said, there was kind of a debate about which way was the, uh, the easier way to go. <coughs> and basically at this point, we're, we're just trying to um, find the easiest route for him to take, to go up. And he got made it up to the left side. He had um, previously made some attempts on the left side, and uh, it wasn't working. And I think what he realized was basically he just had to to cut it a little bit to get up the hill. So there's the first Jeep up the, up the tip top. Everybody else is in four low too. You can see these um, I swear he's not. obstacles and stuff, and for whatever reason they're lining up uh, rocks to make it, I guess, a little bit easier. Well, maybe the shifter doesn't work. I don't know. That's the driver of the, uh, the second Jeep, who is usually driving, but uh, his wife is uh, driving, and he's going to spot. That's sort of what, what we, uh, me and Kimberly do also. Um, if we counter an obstacle that we think is kind of crazy, Kimberly will drive and I'll spot. Um, it's never the opposite. Like, she never spots um, with me driving. Um, either I spot with her driving, you know, or, uh, you know, I drive. Um, and just because she, does, she just, um, doesn't want to spot me, she wants would rather have me spot her. I mean, like, I'm thinking maybe the cable, like, so this is a TJ. Uh, if people, you know, don't know models very well, uh, that's that's what they call it, a TJ. It's an um, older Jeep, not super old, um, you know, early 2000s. And uh, no problems getting up it. So on obstacles like these, you never want to stop, like, right on the obstacle. It's a lot easier to go up these obstacles like this um, if you just keep a little momentum. You just keep on moving. And that's my Jeep there, obviously. Kimberly's driving. I told her to just pick whatever line she wanted to, get to take and it'd be fine. No problems. So here's the next 
next sheep already going up. You can see he lost traction in just a couple seconds when he uh, kind of got injured a little bit uh, in a couple spots, but I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Probably that's the same model as ours, it's just, uh, no, the bumper, the taillights are a little bit, that's a JL, that's a newer model, it's a 2017 or 2018. No problems. The hardest thing on these, um, kind of hill climbs like this where you see the, the steps is if you have a manual transmission and somebody's trying to um, shift while they're, they're going up the um, up the steps like that's the hardest thing the cow print there that is um, to protect the, the side from scratches So I'd have to say probably out of the whole day, uh, uh, most likely tip top was uh, the high point of the day on the trails that we went on. You can see uh, how steep the, the hills are here. Um, outside of the main obstacle on tip top, um, the rest of the trail seems actually kind of greenish like I guess the bottom like that little hill climb could be like light blue um, but the main obstacle most likely um, probably would be considered blue at AOA uh, but I would say that this is probably the the nicest trail that we've been on on the northeast side of the property um, on this town today Oh, they're gonna get out on video, maybe? I don't know. So everybody's been going up the uh, the driver's side of the um, trail. Um, it's my right side because I'm looking down, but it's the left side when you're looking up. That is supposedly the um, the easy side, but I've heard that the, the other side of the trail um, is also pretty easy. Just bump it a little bit. So we're all up here watching without spotting because uh, nobody really wants to walk down and um, spot unless we have to. Looks like he uh, uh, made it up without any spotting. Yeah, it's not my right foot. I would so stay out of his way because he can't see anything. But I'm getting this epic footage with my camera. Yeah, just as he runs over you. Yeah, yeah. I like the bumper a lot. It's a really nice bumper. It's narrow. Um, it's all one piece. It has a scorpion on it. It also has a, um, the shackle positions where you can tow the Jeep with it. So you can see the camera I'm shooting it on um, in the shadow. It's a Canon. Canon EOS uh, uh, M50 mirrorless camera. I'm using what they um, call the kit lens. It's the lens that uh, came with the camera. Nothing fancy. So I believe that is our tail gunner, even though he is not the um, the tail right now. Um, the tail gunner is a person res that's re usually responsible being at the end of the group, making sure that people don't get lost, and uh, helping out with the back of the group, and usually uh, communicating with the, the person who's uh, trying to lead the group to make sure that uh, everybody's together. So we'll continue posting videos for the day. Um, please like and subscribe. Subscribing really helps. Um, um, thank you, and uh, you know, have fun out there.